as a parish community, very soon we are going to approach 120 years when the first Mass was celebrated in the basement of this parish, which happened on October 2nd, 1904. We're so grateful for that occasion, and we should pray that we're going to keep going in good deeds and in good faith. The scripture of this 25th Sunday in Ordinary Time brings us a little bit closer to prepare our hearts and minds for that occasion. Right from the beginning of the Gospel passage, we heard Jesus and his disciples left from there and began a journey through the Galilee, but he didn't wish anyone to know about it. Jesus wanted to go almost in secret to prepare himself for proclaiming the good news later to them that he is among them. For us, I think now we are taking that break as well. We're celebrating 120th anniversary, and this is a time for us to meditate on the beauty that we are exposed to on daily basis. And that beauty is celebration of the Eucharist. Stacia Wojcik, who made it this beautiful Dozhenki Reef, and she sits in the first pew riding the, on the back over there. And by design of Nicholas Cieśla, they came with this vision of basically replica of our tabernacle right there. And if you listen to the real trial last week, we are going to hear, as Stacia said it, that is the center of the church. The Eucharist should be the center of the church. And that's what we are celebrating. We're celebrating this 120th anniversary, being thankful to God that he brought us closer to himself. Why? Because on the end of this gospel passage, we also heard it that the disciples were arguing among themselves who is the greatest. And Jesus said to them, if anyone wishes to be first, he shall be the last of all and the servant of all. Taking a child, he placed it in their midst and putting his arms around it, he said to them, whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me. Last week, when I was teaching the Polish school, one of my students from my class, when we went to the chapel, nailed down in the front of the tabernacle, and she said it, I just said the prayer, just in the case that I need it. She doesn't know that I pay attention to that, but I did. And that's what it is. Placing the child in the midst, in the middle, to follow this pure faith, that's what we should celebrate on every Sunday and on every Eucharist, without questioning God, but truly entrusting our lives, our good and bad times to Him. Because Dozhinki Reef is about thanksgiving, about saying thank you to God for everything what we have. In a very special way, our parish says thank you to God for being able to celebrate 120 years. But I think we decided to share with all of you watching us this parish, our church, for one only reason. And that reason is we have only one gift that we can share with you and which we should share with one another. And that gift is our faith. Our faith which comes and is based on the gospel. Our faith which comes from our traditions. Our faith which is based on our heritage, Polish heritage. The people they came to build this church and they basically committed to pay $25 120 years ago to be sure that this church is going to stand to bring people to God and God to people. And that's our good news. On behalf of this beautiful parish, I share that with everyone who is watching this today. What counts is our faith to pass from generation to generation that we can testify our faith, but also be witnesses to what I witnessed last week of this girl from the Polish school just making the simple sign of the cross and saying a prayer because that what was so important to her and that's what should be important to us. Be like children 
not worry about spreading the good news and not be worried about what others are going to say, but simply and gently say it, God, we believe in you and thank you for allowing us to be your children. Amen.